Today, companies across different verticals have access to vast amount of data. Yet, this vast array of data is as complex as it is valuable. It is derived from various sources, represented in different formats, and travels at varying speeds. Any delay in acting on this data can result in perishable insights seriously impacting decision making, often at great cost to the organization. To help companies overcome the data ingestion challenge, Data Torrent has built application templates for some of the most commonly used data sources and data sync. These application templates allow developers to ingest data from a broad spectrum of data sources, including Kafka, SDFS, S3, and write it to popular data syncs such as SDFS, Kafka, and Cassandra. Easy to use, fault tolerant, these pre built application templates enable enterprises to build and enhance applications faster to accelerate time to market. Build applications without the need for specialized coding skills. Lower the cost of operational support. In this video, we will look at S3 to HDFS sync app template. So suppose if we have some data on Amazon S3 which is on cloud and we want to bring that data to HDFS. So HDFS could be on premise cluster or could be on some other cloud. In that case we can use this application to copy over data from S3 to STFS in fault tolerant scalable fashion. So I have data torrent RTS installed on my machine. Let's navigate to app hub tab. In app hub, let's search for all the applications related to S3. It shows S3 to HDFS sync app. Let's import this app template by clicking on import button. It says import is in progress. After import is successful, it shows notifications saying app has been successfully imported. If we click on the application name in the notification. It navigates to the application package details page. We can see description about the application, last modified time and other details about the application. To launch the application, we click on launch button. It opens up launch dialog box for S3 to HDFS sync application. The first property over here is name of the application. This name has to be unique across all running applications in your environment. By default, the application name is S3 to HDFS Sync. The second option is to use multi-tenancy feature in Hadoop. If you are not very sure about it, you can keep it as default. Or else, you can choose the queue on which you want to submit this job. The third option is to use saved configuration. 
we need to select this option it will show the drop down for pre-saved configurations the cluster memory configuration is mainly designed for medium to large size clusters whereas the sandbox memory configuration is designed for single node Hadoop clusters or data torrent RTS sandbox edition. So in my case I will select cluster memory configuration. The third option is for specifying custom properties. If we select this option it expands a properties editor. To add, add default properties, let's click on add default properties button. It shows two default properties. One is for the input side which is S3 input module dot prop dot files. Here we need to give URL for S3 input. I will just copy over the URL for my case and the second property is HDFS file copy module output directory path. So we need to give path for the output directory. In my case output directory path is user app user output. So I will copy over that path over here. After specifying this property, we are ready to launch. If we click on launch button, it says launch is in progress. And we get the notification once the application has been launched successfully. The notification gives link with the application ID. If we click on that link, it opens up the page showing details about this application instance. This application ID can also be used for lock analysis for this particular application. As well as you can use REST APIs to get status of this application. In the logical tab of this page, we can see the directed acyclic graph for this particular application. This application has S3 input module which constitutes two operators, file splitter and block reader. Whereas on the output side, we have HDFS file copy module which has three operators, block writer, block synchronizer and file merger. The file splitter operator is actually pulling data on the S3 input source and emitting file metadata and block metadata for the downstream operators. Block reader is actually reading blocks from S3. Now this block reader can be partitioned based on your requirement. By default for cluster environment we support, we configure 16 partitions and for local environment we have one partition for this operator. Block writer is getting data from block reader and writing it to HDFS inside apps directly. Block synchronizer will wait for all blocks for a particular file to be copied over to HDFS and once all blocks are copied, it will send the trigger to file merger. File merger will then merge all the blocks into a single file. 
Note that input source can be file as well as directory. In the physical tab, you can see details per container. If we click on container ID, it will show logs for a particular container. This information can be useful for debugging. So this is how this application is copying data from S3 to HDFS in scalable and fault tolerant way. You can refer to walkthrough document for this application to look at the steps given in this video. Thank you. So please visit App Hub page from your RTS installation and import application of your choice and try it out today. Goodbye.